1 Corinthians 3 verse 16 Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? That the spirit of God dwells in you? Okay, I'm going to explain one of two because, because um, one of the things to how all these scriptures tie in He said beware the, uh, of, 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 of um, philosophies of men no, he full of real men, like how this guy was start, start talk. He said to talk about charity world. And start talking all full of the He all summarized it. He said, beware, the same thing going on in this building. Right? And the most I say, he, he goes well in the temple made with hands. We are the temple. In the point of Corinthians, we are the temple. The message that he So now, when you drink a soda, Defiling your temple. Yeah. Because soda is poison. When you um, eat pork, you defile your temple. Okay? When you when you smoke your cigarettes, you defile your temple. We you defile your temple. Now give me all that hard if you want to bring in my cigarettes. Alright. Bring bring me that stuff. Make it quick. First Corinthians 6 verse 19. Come on. What? No, he is not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. We oh, not. It is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own, for ye are brought with your strength. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God. That's right. That's right. Don't defile your temple, man. I want more than fear right now. In 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16, he said, Know ye not, ye are the temple of the Most High, and that the Spirit of the Most High dwell in you. If any man defile the temple of the Most High, he shall the Most High destroy. Right. For the temple of the Most High is holy, which ye are. What did Paul do that, bro? Um, you go in the article, right? You find out about uh, cigarettes? Because uh, our people is real heavy into cigarettes. Dumari, Broadway, and all that is poison. Alright? All that is poison. So, you got an article that you want to share real quick. And read a little about it. Please. Move over, Tony. Move over. Go ahead. Wow. What's in a cigarette? And all y'all jakes that's in the, uh, in the highways and byways, they're smoking cigarettes. The most high gonna destroy y'all, man. The most high gonna destroy you, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, cigarette contains what? Lighter fluid. Lighter fluid. Go ahead. Sewer gas. It, it contains sewer gas. When you boo-boo, those gases that come up, those cigarettes, cigarette houses. Go ahead. Carbon, carbon, yeah, methane yeah. yeah, gas. Go ahead. Carbon monoxide. Yeah, carbon monoxide. You know when you um, or your dog fight, if you clog that up and see your no, car, let the engine yeah. run, you could die. Carbon monoxide. Go ahead. Um, cadmium batteries. What? Cadmium batteries. Come on. Rat poison. Rat poison. Cigarette has rat poison. If you got a family member that's smoking cigarettes, you got to tell them to stop. If you're doing it, you got to stop. Go ahead. Buck spray. Buck spray. Go ahead. Uh huh. Paint. It has paint in it. When you paint your wall, your house, it has that in the cigarettes. I can one thing. Oh, no, 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 hold on, bud. You got more than that? Barbecue lighter. It has what? Barbecue lighter. It has barbecue lighter in it, huh? So now, I got a scripture I want to bring up. Give me... I'm going to read a little bit history right now. Give me a little bit of uh, Leviticus 18 verse 30. Leviticus 18 verse 30. Give me that real quick. Now I'm going to go a little history of smoking. Uh, uh, somebody who was walking down here and talked to you and he said all them things really in the together. So that's not real tobacco. Do you have a taste real to um, tobacco? Yeah. Um, Cuban cigars, those are real tobacco. Yeah. But you're not even supposed to be smoking that anywhere. Hold on, so don't know. You're not even supposed to be smoking that. You can drink it as a tea, like marijuana. You can drink marijuana as a tea. You can drink it as a put it in your food. But you're not going to be smoking it. Because you're just destroying your brain cells. Alright, uh, you guys. Go ahead. Leviticus 18 verse 13 says, Therefore shall ye keep my ordinance that ye commit not any of these abominable customs. Uh, read, read it again, bro. Uh, Leviticus 18 verse 13 it says, Therefore you shall keep my ordinance that ye commit not any of these abominable um, customs. Come on. It says, Which were committed before you. But that you defile not yourself therein. Yeah, so you're not supposed to defile yourself, man. You're not supposed to eat on um, bad food. You're not supposed to be drinking soda, man. Coca-Cola has pork in it. Coca-Cola has pork in it, man. 
Red Bull has what? It has a, a trace of cocaine in it, man. Alright, it says, the, hold on. It says the history of smoking and smoking marijuana is a heathen custom. Following the ways of the heathen is not right and must be avoided because it is a, it defiles our temple. Now, give me Jeremiah 2, I'm 10, verse 2 again. Now, give me Leviticus 18, verse 24. There's a few little, oh, I'm going to let you let you Jeremiah 10, verse 2. Good. Thus said the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. Yeah, he read it early. Do not learn the ways of the heathen. Go ahead. And be not the snare of the signs of heaven. Beautiful. For the heathen are the snare of death and death. For the custom, for the custom of the people are here. Yeah, the custom of the people is strange, man. When you still get saved, you lose a lot of money anyway. How much the fuck do tomorrow? In Broadway. How much? About what? Twenty dollars? Ten? So you add that money. You buy, uh, uh, you smoke in a pack, what, maybe six or seven times of the week, or two weeks, yeah. that money adds up. That's come like they're paying to, 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 paying to kill themselves. Yeah, you're paying to kill yourself. You might as well get a gun and put it to your head one time. It's a shortcut. Yeah. Oh, I got something. Leviticus 18, verse 24. You better not eat yourself in any of these things. It's pork and all these, the nations are defiled. Yes, sir. The other nations are defiled by these, right? So beautiful. I want to read something. When you smoke, it put layers upon layers of ash. Hold on. It said, when you smoke, it put layers upon layers of ash, saw and smoke upon your your lungs and clogs up your arteries, all right, which leads to cancer and other elements. It kills you slowly and defiles your temple. This is like by the age of 60 or 70, your, your prick can't really stand up because your artery is clogged up with all that toxin and all that poison, all right? Okay, Ezekiel 20 verse 7 real quick. Ezekiel 20 verse 7. I'm almost done. I'm almost Ezekiel done. 20 verse 7 says, then set out to death. Cast ye away every man's abominations of his eyes, and defile not yourself. Yes, so defile not yourself, go ahead. With the idols of his... Alright, go ahead. And defile not yourself with the idols of Egypt. I am the Lord your power. Alright, I got one more right here. It said when you defile your temple with things sacrificed to idols, so, if you got brokers out there in the camp smoking, that's why you're really worshiping Satan. You're not worshiping Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, man. Yep. And you're deceiving yourself. So put, put those cigarettes away, man. Alright, it says which, which blood smoking, cut smoking, joint smoking, and pipes and bombs, and, they, and the many strains of marijuana which, which have been gen genetically tampered with. Anyway, uh, and it's not our custom, it falls into idol worship. So you get what, you are idol worshiper when you smoke cigarettes, huh? when you smoke in weed, huh? and that is not good. It's harmful to your body. The Most High created you, huh? and He dwells within you. So why are you defiling your temple? Right? Uh, Leviticus 18, verse 26. Come on. He shall therefore keep my statutes and my judgment and shall not commit any of these abominations. Neither any of your own nation uh -huh. or any stranger that should dwell among you for all these abominations have the men of the land done with before you and the land is defiled. So the land is defiled, man. So stay away from the cigarettes. Stop smoking weed, man. It's James 4 verse 17. It says, Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good and do it did not, to him it is sin. So we got a question. Oh, they ain't knowing the word yeah, God. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know how our people are? But if a white man speaks, the, the sisters is quiet when a white man speaks. But since I look like them, you know what I'm saying? I'm not just talking about you. I'm not just talking about you. But if I was a white man with a suit or Jack Warner, they would be quiet for it. But if I was that guy that wore that little uh, that arrow, they, they would be quiet. It's amazing how our people are. It's in the scriptures too. It's in the scriptures. We can prove it. Alright, so what is your question? Yeah, what about the area? Look! 
Because Hollywood know how to really kill our people. Yeah. Put our people to shame, man. If you want wear, you, you want this big money, you gotta wear a dress. Or you gotta bend over. That's why David Chappelle left the industry. Because they were trying to make David Chappelle wear a dress. David Chappelle said, get the hell out of here. No. So they, everybody looking at David Chappelle crazy. But David Chappelle, he's he not going to degrade himself like that wearing a dress. Go ahead. Yeah, it's an abomination, man. Abomination. That's an abomination. They got they have a show. Yeah, they, they, like yeah, they love some Medea. Yeah. <laughs> that's wickedness. Wickedness. They got a show of how you turn that when men wear women on apparel. Yeah. That's wickedness. Yeah. They go to black women. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Now I want to uh, establish, give me Exodus 11 verse 7, that we are...